So we now have a steady supply of plane filters being made and produced and put into this container here. Actually, it's now full. So we are ready, finally, to make ourselves some quantum chips, which will be used to make the green, the gravity matrices, the green ones. In addition to that, they'll also be used to make quantum chemical plants, the small carrier rockets, and the vertical launching sites, which we are not ready to do yet. We also just unlocked, uh, as we finished up last episode, it just unlocked the quantum chemical plants, which are the upgrade for the regular chemical plants. And we've not even started making the assembly, the assembly machine Mark II's, which we need to do. Now, the plane smelters, we can't do anything with until we get unipolar, ma ma uh, unipolar magnets, which is going to be down the road a little bit. So that we will, that we will be looking for. We'll need to go out and look in the universe for those. But for right now, let's get our let's get our basic quantum chips made. And we just unlocked the assembly the assembling machine Mark III's, which are going to take, which is the next upgrade. We, we're we're basically on generation one of our assembling machines. We are probably going to skip right by two and go right to three, because that's that's just that's just how we're going to roll. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out. I'm going to bring this down here like this. I'm not going to designate these yet because I want to put. We are now starting to proliferate all of our stuff. I do have some proliferator paint on me, so let's put that in there. And put that in there. And then let's go ahead and run lines down to these. There we go. Yes, I'm using proliferator paint on all this stuff because it makes it produce more and it makes it better. It makes the product better, so. And then let's go ahead and... Get some power here. Oh, wait, do, do I not have... Oh, I have them here. I need a little bit of foundation right there. There we go. That should give us good overlap on all of our power areas. Excellent. You can also look at the power grid if you do this. So mechanical frame, we now have better movement speed. So you can look at the power, you can put, look at the power grid here too. You can see that there's like, it's all coverage all in there, all the way through. So I don't like to have that on all the time though, because it's a little bit on the bright side. I say like 15 of them is good just to get going right now. And then probably put the, uh, no, let's put the output line on the other side like we've done before. And let's see, do I want to tie this into anything or do I just want to leave it as a depot here? I don't really have any room in there for anything else. I do I do have the processors there already though. I guess I could bring this line. I'm trying to think how best to set this up. Yeah, we'll just bring this down here and we're gonna set this up to come out. No, actually we'll have it come right. We'll have this line come this way instead. Like 
that. There we go. I'll reset the uh, rocket launchers here. I like to have a few rocket launchers on my border just to just to keep everything safe. Get rid of some of these small Tesla towers now. Oh, I need one there. As we get out these uh, satellite substations, we can get rid of a lot of the, a lot of the extra little garbage that we have. Like all these, I can replace all of that pretty much with one of these. Now that did not get taken care of, unfortunately. So we'll just put a little. Let's look at where the power is here. Actually, we could probably... Same thing here. We could just replace that with one of these. It takes care of the whole thing and leaves us a lot more room. those substations it just just cleans the whole place up very nicely okay the, only, the biggest problem is we have is we have this stupid oil well right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little there we go uh, dude, did I pick up any of that ammo? Oh. Got the titanium ammo right there. Take a few titanium ammos with me. Oh, I have some old school, uh... I have some old school belts on me, too. There we go. I'll have one stack of the old school belts in there. There we go. Get a whole bunch of belts in there for me. That's a lot of belts. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put... Some of those in there. And I do need to make some more splitters because I'm really low on them. I don't have the, I don't have those automated because it only takes it only takes that that there. Some gears and some chips, and I can just make those. There we go. Seems like I'm running out of chips. Maybe? Solar sail life is better. All right. So we got our plan here. We got this being made here. Let's go ahead and turn this into quantum chips. We have the output there, input there. We're gonna put the plane filters out, the, the processors out.
There we go. Quantum chips. We produce our first quantum chip, boys and girls. Huzzah! Quantum chips are going. Oh, where are they going? That's that. That's what we were setting up over here. I was like, wait a second. Were we setting something up over here? Wait a second. Are, not, are quantum chips not being proliferated? No, they aren't. There we go. Now they are. Reverse the path and send them all through the proliferator real quick. Then reverse it again, and now they're all proliferated. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, I want all those proliferated, damn it. Okay, so we got the we got these coming in here. Oh, those are just going in to feed that. Okay. Alrighty, so if I want to set up a new place, I guess I guess right in here is not bad. We do need to build some. We do need to build some matrix labs. And I need chips and. Then I need some glass. We'll make 13 of them. That should, that should be good enough, I think. Okay, I'm gonna make it back here, I think. Is that all I was making? Okay. Let's make a few more. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two stacks. Make two stacks here for the green for the green cubes. It may be a little bit overkill, but it's probably better to have overkill than underkill. There we go. And those are as high as they can be. They're as high as a kite. So I am going to bring out a little line of... Those there. Wow, I did not even plan that and that worked out just perfect. Okay, and then we're going to proliferate this side as well. So the other thing we have coming in here is going to be the chips, and we're going to proliferate those. I can dump the rest of the proliferator paint in there. All right, so all we have to do is just bring this up. And then back down. Now we turn on the spigot for the... Processor chips, there we go. We tie these in. Oh, we don't need the what am I thinking what a goober I am okay never mind <laughs> I don't need those I do not need those I need I need the graviton lenses. 
So we need to do this completely different. I need to set up this along with that, along with that. Put some bots in here. Go, hey game, go get me some graviton lenses. There you go, go get me some graviton lenses. Start bringing those over here instead. Yeah, that'd probably help if we had the right thing coming in. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna jump start it here real quick. I was gonna have it have one stack. It doesn't need to have a ton. Or one one line. At least it can reach over here. That's that's the good news. I'm just gonna jump it by putting a whole bunch in here. I guess I'll do this so it doesn't get diamonds in there by some chance. There we go, we got our first gravity matrix made. Now, what we're gonna have to do, let's see, so the stuff's going into there. So I'm gonna want a output line here. That leads into there. And then we're gonna want it to feed down over to here. There we go. Now, one thing we could finally do, is I could set this up. Have all of these proliferated coming in, which is probably not the worst idea I've ever had in the world. So let's go ahead and put a splitter in here. Go in that side. Come out here on top. There we go. Come out here on top. And this way, all of these will be proliferated as well. And what that does is that when once these are all proliferated, it will basically it'll it'll give me more it'll give me more uh, tech. It, it'll basically increase the amount of of advancement you get. So let's go ahead and just queue up this here universe expansion. And see now, with these all getting nice and proliferated, well, they're slowly getting proliferated. There we go. So it basically is gonna make it, it basically is gonna make it, uh, if used in a research mode of matrix, it can produce extra hashes. So it's actually producing extra hashes in the, in the, in the, in here. So we're, ma we're making more research quicker, which is a good thing. So we are gonna start with universe exploration, because that's gonna give us uh, all the planetary systems we can look at. We're gonna then also upgrade the mecha core. We're gonna upgrade our inventory capacity, upgrade our communication control, the auto reconstruction. We're gonna upgrade our energy circuit, our drone engines, and our drive engines. So that's good. That we that feels so good. We got the green, green gravity matrices are done, boys and girls. Woohoo! 
Let's go green. And it looks like we're actually producing extras, so you know what we can do? Here's something else we can do. Here is something else we can do. We can start making with some green cubes here if we wanted to. If we had extra green cubes, which actually we don't right now. So I'm going to kind of hang off. It's so nice to make warp engines out of them, though. You know what? It looks like we have enough here. Let's see if we can make a little more glass. I wonder if we could make three of these. I'm kind of curious to see if we can pull off three towers. Because these are, these are definitely getting full. It may be too much. It may, it may just be like, no. And once we start using these uh, these uh, quantum chips for other stuff too, it could it could really it could really come back to bite us in the ass. So, which speaking of that, I probably need to have. Oh yeah, because we're stalled on these right now. Okay, so I need to have a. There we go. I'm just going to set this up here. It's probably not going to be something we ever need, but if we have it, we'll never we'll never be we'll never be upset about having it here. So let's go ahead and put the quantum chips in there. There we go. Again, we'll store them in this because later on it could it could be good for us. See? It's already building up extra quantum chips in here. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Is, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of green right on the get-go. And having three greens, yeah, it's not even filling that all the way up yet. All right, well, that's going to be good. We, sh we will at some point be able to sort of shift some of those into making the alternative recipe for space warpers, which will give us eight warpers for each gravity matrix that we use, which I guess I could... could do that. Again, we're over we're overbuilding like crazy, but I'm okay with that. I think we could do one more tower.
All right, or or reserves. We can see all the or reserves and detailed rare ores on all planet systems now, not just the ones that are close to us. So that's good. Yeah, get that green fired up, baby. Purple is struggling a bit. It looks like we don't have enough. We don't have enough of whatever that is. Prodigal broadband coming in. Yellow is struggling too. Although we have a lot of backup yellow already made. So yellow is, you know, yellow is yellow. Red is still doing okay and blue is still doing okay. So we're fine there. But yes, we got the green cubes going. We got the gravity matrices going. And we are plowing through all of our tech upgrades, which is going to be great. We got more energy for our core. We've got more inventory lines and logistic stack multipliers. We've got construction drones, uh, some um, auto re reconstruction ma uh, marking coming. We got more fuel power, more drone construction flight speed, and more warp speed as well. And we'll even get some more energy shields, because why not? So I think I think as far as that goes, we're doing well. I think the next thing we need to do is we need to now get our upgrades for our manufacturing taken care of. And where is that being done right now? These are all of our ships, and here's all of our stuff. Here we go. So here's where we have the tier one assembly machines, the Mark One assembly machines being made. And we now have access to not only tier two, but also tier three. And tier three does take the quantum chips, but we are making quantum chips now. So I think we are ready to do some quantum chip uh, shenanigans now and get those going. What I'm gonna do, I think though, is I'm going to set up a small Yeah, it looks like that is kind of keeping up, but not really. Now that we got four of these things coming on. Oh yeah, and it's eating those up quickly too. Okay. And, well, I think four might be the max we can do on that. How are we doing on supplies here though? Let's check out the supplies here. Okay, it looks like those are stay very nice. So I think we can probably extend this line down a little bit further. Which is super exciting. I didn't know how far we could extend this down before we max the line out basically. There we go. That'll give us a few more quantum chips coming in. And we're gonna need way more than that. That's why I wanted to build this over on this side of the planet, because we're gonna have to extend a lot of this stuff out. Okay, so we're actually full. Wow, okay, so the plane are the plane the plane filters are actually filling up now. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I do not mind that at at all. That means we're good, we're on a good course. Um, I do want, before we end this up, I do want to give myself a little quantum chip area here. Maybe for like 100 quantum chips. There we go, one stack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as a as a distribution hub to distribute that to other people. There we go. And that that way those quantum chips can be distributed over to here where we are going to be building our second and third generation assembling machines, which we're going to do next time because this one we're going to wrap up here today. But next time we're going to start producing or auto producing the second and third generation assembly machines which will help us out a lot because that'll speed everything up 
it will take up more power. It will consume a lot more power, but it will make everything a lot faster as well. So until then, boys and girls, thank you so much for coming by and watching. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button on the way out the door. Also check out that join button down below. Find out about some exclusive content as well as some unique emotes that you can use while we live stream here on YouTube. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much.